What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host of course. And as you can see today, Apple has released iOS 14.7 developer beta one. And also at the time I'm recording this video, the public beta is out and for me on my iPhone, I was actually updating from iOS 14.6 RC and you can see that it was kind of a big update size. It came in at exactly 4.14 gigs and this is not all that Apple released. Let me just show you here on the Apple developer website. You can see that they released macOS Big Sur 11.5 Beta 1. They also released iOS as well as iPadOS 14.7 Beta 1. And they released watchOS 7.6 Beta 1. And also the last update that was released today is tvOS 14.7 Beta 1. All these updates were released today on May the 19th and I'm going to be covering most of them here on the channel so if you haven't subscribed then a sub will be good. Now let's go on to see the software changes that came with this update. If we go into settings go to general and then go to the about this iPhone section you can see the new build number that we have and it's 18G5023C. This build number has a C at the end and in terms of stability, it's one that's highly unstable. And if we go down, you can see the modern firmware version 4.03.04. 4 now this sort of went back because on iOS 14.6 RC, we had 4.04.00. So you can see that the .04 turned into .03, which is a little bit lower. So it just goes to mean that this iOS 14.7 is on a lower firmware version than what we have or a different firmware build. Now, those are the software changes that came with this update. And now let's talk about new features and changes that came with this update. The first one that I would like to highlight or mention has to do with iOS 14.7, which lets you set multiple timers for your HomePod in the Home app. So if you have this Home application and you have connected devices like HomePods and so on, you can actually set timers now i don't have a home port connected in order to illustrate for you but this is something that has sort of been added and if you have an ipad and are updating to ipad os 14.7 when you go to the app store you get a new layout for the ipad so the app store has been updated with more categories on ipad os 14.7 beta one that's something that's good and also in terms of special audio and lossless audio those are not fully here in within the music app or within different apple devices as many users over on twitter and on different forums are highlighting that that function is not yet here it should be coming later on like apple said when they announced it now other than that those seems to be the new features and changes. This update doesn't provide a ton of changes. It's more of a, uh, an update that provides stability and security updates. However, I would like to draw your attention to the Apple newsroom as today, Apple announced a number of powerful software updates designed for people with disabilities. So. If you click there, you'll be able to see some of the accessibilities that Apple has announced for people with disabilities. And this is actually Apple support. As you can see, you can talk to Apple support or talk to Apple, be it at the App Store using ASL or Apple Sign Language Interpreter if you speak sign language and an Apple interpreter will be able to interpret using sign time session and be able to tell what you're trying to say. So that is something that's sort of good and amazing and it's going to be available actually as early as May the 20th. So that is very soon and 
that's not all that Apple has announced. You can see that they mentioned assistive touch for the Apple Watch. So if you have the Apple Watch and you don't, you want to use it without actually touching it, you can actually do like a clinch and you'll be able to trigger a function. You can answer a call by just doing different motions. So that is assistive touch that's going to be coming to the Apple Watch. Keep in mind that most of these accessibilities, some of them are coming sooner than others. And for iPad, you get eye tracking support for iPad very soon. Explore image with voice over so you can see, explore different facets of an image, tell it to zoom in or highlight certain sections using voice over. And also you get made for iPhone hearing aids for audiogram support. So you'll be able to see like your audiogram. This is kind of good, very useful health information and you get background sounds updates that sort of make background sounds less overwhelming or discomforting or disruptive so updates to that are going to be coming and also let's just scroll here and see you can see you can have balanced you can have bright noise dark noise ocean rain and so on different sounds to accessibility that are going to be coming and also you can see additional features coming later this year we have sounds action for switch control display and text settings you also have new emojis that are going to be coming which are going to represent people with different needs like if you have a hearing aid device like this one or you wear a special like um, visual oxygen masks like this you can see the oxygen uh, device here is depicted or you wear a head covering or a helmet like this this will be able to be updated in different emojis on different or all the apple devices that we have and of course apple fitness updates are going to be coming and also app store as you can see you have more options where you can read about stories who are talking about different apps on the app store and the tv app updates as well as apple books and apple maps updates where they add this university so there's a lot of accessibilities that are going to be coming and when they do and are available most probably i'll update you on my social media handles or make a video about it here on the channel now other than that that's how this update came in for me ios 14.7 beta 1 kind of a big update but it does bring about you know just minor changes and in terms of when this update could be released let's actually go into the calendar you can see that today is may the 19th so most probably when it comes to ios 14.6 since the rc was released on monday may the 17th i was sort of hopeful that they would release the ios 14.6 officially on the 20th or on the 21st but since we got another update today of ios 14.7 beta 1 then probably ios 14.6 could be released in the week of the 24th to the 28th time will tell but i i am hopeful that latest by next week we should have ios 14.6 and with regards to ios 14.7 since we know that wwdc is less than three weeks away so it's going to take place may 7th june 7th rather to 11 and when that comes out i'll be able to cover it for you so i'm not sure what apple is going to do with regards to ios 14.7 whether they're going to release a beta next week too and then an rc and an official later that week but time will tell and i'll cover you on this channel now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this update if you like this video please leave a like and sub to hmht and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace